bell shaped fruits. Do you love these bell shaped fruits? Hello friends, welcome to another interesting and informative episode. If you are new here, my name is Julie for 254 Nature Grass. I share videos on how to grow affordable food at home, gardening and how you can save money. So in this video, I want to show you how to grow these bell shaped fruits. So if you love butternuts, stick around. I'm going to share lots of tips and information how you can grow butternuts, even if you have a small space. So let's get in and enjoy the video. create a DIY drip system for our button. It has no lead at this point. You see? Look at the water jet. The first tip is to consider the position of your container. Place it in an area where it will get full sunlight. At least 6 to 8 hours of sunlight. Secondly, I'm positioning it here because you need to support the butternut plants. Down here you can see there's a lot of stones. So I want to make use of this space here by placing the container here. Butternut and cucumbers are in the same family, cucumbataceae. So if they do cross-pollinate, we'll have some interesting food. So I'll share the video and we'll see how that will turn out. Make sure you have plenty of drainage holes because you don't want soil to hold a lot of water which will make the roots rot. I've also made holes on the side of my container because I live in a in a warm area. Today our temperature is about 78 degrees Fahrenheit so it gets pretty hot so I've just made holes to reduce the amount of heat that will be held in this container. Use a container that is at least 18 inches deep because you want to provide space for the, for the roots to develop. If you use a container that is too shallow, your plant will not develop an expansive root system. So you have to consider how deep your container is. Secondly, how wide your container is determines how many butternut plants you can grow. This one is 50 centimeters wide. So I can grow at least three butternut seedlings, 10 centimeters apart, and it will be okay. By providing enough space in your container, your plant will have an expansive root system, means it can take enough water and nutrients to develop strong, a strong plant system and healthy fruits. But if your container is, is shallow, it means even the plant will not take up enough water because the roots will not have enough space to develop. If your container is uh, shallow, your plant will be drying up faster. You can use like 70% of garden soil and 30% of compost. Using compost makes the soil loose and uh, it's easy for the roots to, to grow and develop well. The water, does not, the water does not hold itself in the soil but it will drain freely. And the compost will also provide a lot of nutrients. Butternut needs more of uh, phosphorus and potassium to grow and less of nitrogen fertilizers. If you provide high nitrogen fertilizers to your butternut plant, you will have more foliage but you will not be promoting good food development. So you can also use ash. I like using ash as a source of phosphorus and potassium. Just a little bit to mix it in the soil to make sure that your plant gets the nutrients it requires. I'm going to add some ash, just a little, to provide the nutrients. And also, if you've used uh, fertilizers before, the ash will just raise the pH of your soil. Butternut grows well in a soil pH of 5.5 to around 7. Next, we are going to add our DIY drip system. Butternut needs moderate watering, and here I don't have the, my drip lines. This will help us to water our roots slowly, moderately, and the soil will not be dry. So I'll only be adding water to this bottle. So using a nail or a drill, I'm going to make holes at equidistant points for all the three seedlings to get water. I just use my hands and this nail to make the holes at equidistant points. 
this is what I did just come like this and like this so you make all the holes and they are pretty tiny make sure they are not super <laughs> size holes because you are creating a DIY drip system make sure you, the bottle you want to use has a lid the top part you can't use that bottle that has no top part and I'm going to demonstrate why so fill it up with water I have filled it up with water and look it has no lid at this point you see look at the water gets so now I've added the lid plant this is the same bottle look at this can I demonstrate it again if you open the, the top part let me open the top part you see Look at the water gets. You see? If I put back the lid, look, the water is just dripping out. So this is a DIY drip system for your backyard garden. It's an affordable drip system, so keep it here to learn more tricks. Make sure the holes are at the side, or the holes are at the bottom, the water will go down deep straight without distributing itself to the sides. It will take a lot of time to distribute itself. So put the holes at the side where you are going to position your seedlings. You are going to position your drip system before you bring your seedlings. Look at this friends, I've just removed the water bottle and put it, I placed it back here. I wanted you to see where the water, you see, at this point, at this point, at this point. So don't make holes at the bottom of the container because the water will be going down straight you do it at the sides you see <laughs> yeah keep it here to learn more if you want to know whether the water is moving you just look at the bubbles that will be coming up you see here are my butternut seedlings i did a video on how to plant butternut from seeds please watch the video to get all the tips I share, I have three seedlings here and I have another seedling elsewhere, I'll show you. You can start your seedlings indoors if you live in a cold area. Because the best temperature for your seedlings to germinate is at least 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So if your soil temperatures are warmer, above 60 degrees Fahrenheit and at best 70 degrees Fahrenheit, your seeds will germinate. Once you plant the seeds, they will take about 8 to 10 days to sprout and your butternut will start growing. If you've started the seeds indoors, make sure you take them outside occasionally and you limit the watering just to harden them off. For me, I started them outside so they are, they are hardened enough to continue growing outside. So all I'm going to do is just to transplant it without disturbing the roots because if you disturb the roots, the butternut will not grow well. Friends, this is another butternut seedling. If you want to plant your seeds outdoors and you live in a cold region, just plant your seed outdoors in May. Otherwise, if you start them indoors, by the end of uh, April, you can now plant them outdoors and create support for them. This variety is called butternut wall palm. It takes about 90 to 100 days to maturity. So if you plant your seeds outdoors in May, you need 90 to 100 days. And then you can harvest your butternut and enjoy them during winter. The chosen one, friends. And I want to show you the root system very fast. I don't want to stress the plant. You see? So make sure you have a deep container. So you have to check where the water is uh, dripping. So you just use your finger. You see my finger is dry. You just do this. So if you put your finger in, in and it comes out wet, well, it means that's the point where the water is dripping out. You see? So that's where we are going to plant. Just make a deep hole. Did you know that butternut is 92% water and it contains good quantities of potassium and magnesium which is good for developing a healthy bone mass? So keep it here to learn more facts about your garden plants. All the seedlings I eat now and friends I told you I have four so if one does not make it 
I will have three. You better put four, then remove one, so that you only have a maximum of three, which is good for this container size. Next, you have to match your container to keep the soil moist and also I don't want any water getting to the leaves. So just match the container. I'm just using dry leaves which is good enough. If you don't have straw, use the dry leaves from your trees. The last tip is because you've just transplanted your seedlings right now and you want to avoid that shock, open and let the water go down very fast so that at least the soil can become wet. Then later you can come and cover it. Because you need the plants to get water to avoid the shock from transplanting. Support your butternut plants. I will demonstrate how to use what you have at home. That's all for this episode, friends. In the next episode, I will show you how to support your butternut plants at home using what you have. If you are new here, remember to like and subscribe so that you get notifications every time I post a new video. Friends, thank you for joining me. Until next time, let's create our food and garden heaven. <laughs>